Hello my friend, be welcome here to one more video, okay? And in this video, this video is very important if you are coming here to Brazil. You will need this kind of um, registration number, okay? That is the CPF, okay? This is the global, uh, let me say, taxation um, code. So every transaction you make in most of the places, main places, uh, the company will need to identify uh, the source of the income, okay? So the companies need you to have a CPF so they can pay the tax, okay? Basically, it's like this. So if you will do something here, if you do anything here, uh, basically, you will need the CPF, um, uh, but if you pay in cash, okay, maybe you will not need the CPF many times. If you go to a supermarket or even if you pay in cash, uh, you will not need, but if you, you will be in trouble if you don't have the CPF because many times if you go to tourist uh, attractions in many places, uh, and if you go to big companies we have here, they will ask you the CPF, okay? And they they are getting more strict in relation to this, okay? Um, there is uh, this law here that they say that uh, will force in 2024, okay, in the next year, that everyone needs to have the CPF, okay? Uh, we use it to have the RG, that is another identification, but it's been uh, less used, less year, each year, and now we have, we'll have only the CPF, that is the global identification number. And you will need to do uh, basically everything, buy and sell properties, um, going, uh, consuming services and products, basically everything because the government here tracks everything okay at least they try <laughs> uh, but they they are very good in that here but uh whatever let me just summarize here uh what the official site talks about getting a cpf here okay um for the foreigns how what do you have to do you have to um, complete an online form, okay? You don't need to be present in an embassy or some fiscal place like this, okay? You just go in the site, complete the online form on the Federal Revenue website. Um, you can access here, at it's www.gov.br um, um, slash uh, M R E. Okay, uh, whatever. I will put the link here uh, in the description. Okay, don't don't worry about. It. Just click the link, and you have to complete the online form. It's very simple. We have in Portuguese, English, and Spanish, and you will send like you fill up a form. You will send like basic informations like your passport, your address, something like this. You will send like a selfie, a photo. And that's it, it's very, very simple, and that's it. Uh, I don't know exactly how, how much time it will take to get this kind of CPF, okay? But it's, I, I would not count that is very fast, okay? So I would uh, warn you to, to uh, make this at least 90 days before coming here, okay, at, you will have to get to give at least 90 days, okay, at least. And that's it, this is online, when you complete the process, you send an email to the address cpf.resident.exterior.rfb.gov.br uh, and this email, um, you will have to give some information and you have a number. This number is everything you need to just go to any place and you are and there you are, okay? It's very simple but takes long because 
things here in Brazil in the public sector are very slow and uh, I would not count that it's like Europe very fast no here things are very very slow and take action in advance at least 90 days before okay if you have any questions um, put in the comment okay I will make my best to answer that's it thank you for the watching see you